Hi ladies! Today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to put pictures from your unique website into your Square Reader app. So it is not necessary to put pictures into your Square Reader, but it does give you a more polished and professional look and it makes it easier for you to find the items when you're trying to check out one of your clients. So if you need more information on the Square, you'd like to order one, simply go to square.com. So let's show you how to enter the items into the item pictures into your square. First, we're going to start at our unique website because all unique presenters have the joy of having their own site. So you're going to scroll down to the picture that you want to have for your item. So today I'm going to be showing you on the brow palette and all you do is simply hold down on the picture and you will be prompted to download image. Click download image and now this picture is saved into your gallery on your tablet or your phone. Now you're going to go to your square reader. Most likely when you first get there, this is the menu that you will see. Click on items. And then after you click on items, you're going to go to oops, all items. Now here you'll see the pictures and items I've already loaded with the pictures and the prices, but we're going to start with create item. Once you select that, you're going to come to this screen. Click on the gray square that says new item and it will bring you to this screen. You have a whole bunch of different colors. These are good if you do not have um, product pictures, but we do. So at the bottom it says choose photo. So we're going to choose photo and that brings you to the gallery on your phone or tablet. Here you see the picture of the brow palette that I just saved. And at the very top on the left, it says add photo. So we're going to say add photo. You scroll down, it has added the photo. Next, you'll see edit item title. So we are going to select edit item title. And here you are prompted to put in the name, the category, the price, and the SKU if you have one. So I will name this brow palette. Um, a word of advice, leave out the um, repetitive things like mood struck or um, any other descriptive words. And also for ease, I do recommend that you just put in the name of the product, like let's say it's lipstick, and then you can put in the specific colors in the description instead of adding in all the 30 something lipstick colors. So now it says brow palette, if you can see that. I do have categories, you can have them or not. It simply again makes it easier to find when you're looking for items. So I will categorize that under eyes. I'll go back with the category button here. And now I'm gonna put in my price. In Canada, it's $47 for the brow palette. I do not use SKUs. And then when you scroll up a bit more, you will see that there is a part for taxes. So here's where you can add in the taxes for your province or your state. And I, you'll see I also have here credit card reader tax. Now, this is the convenience fee that Square charges me, and I pass that cost on to the client. You must disclose to the client that they are being charged a convenience fee, let them know what it is, and then they can decide if they want to continue with their transaction by credit card. Sometimes they may change their mind and decide to do um, it by cash, but you have to disclose that there is a um, convenience fee added on. And as I said, I just added on as a tax, so that's automatically calculated every time I um, ring up a purchase. So now that we've added in the picture, the name, the category, the price, and as I said, the taxes are automatic with each one. At the top, you're going to have save. And if you look through the items and scroll through, you will see right there, it has added brow palette to my inventory items. And that's it. That is how you add pictures to your square. And it just gives you a more polished, professional look. It's easy for the client to see what they've gotten, and it helps you from making mistakes. So that's it. It doesn't take a lot of time. Grab a glass of wine, do it by category, and uh, you'll be all set up in no time. And then every six months when we add new products, then you'll only have to add those. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm here to help. All right. Have a good night.